So right now, um, I'm just doing barbell curls, side curls, 35 pounds, four sets of 12. Reason why I'm doing these, just get that arm strength up. Um, I know arms aren't the most uh, need. Uh, I could go into a whole long spiel over this, and I might, matter of fact. So arms are a very important part when it comes to boxing. Now, of course, footwork is, I would say, and a lot of coaches will say the most important about boxing. But if you got some weak ass arms, you're not going to be able to do shit. But let's be honest with each other. So what I'm doing is I'm doing four sets of 12, 35 uh, pound barbells. And I'm just throwing them up. Um, this is just the beginning of my workout. <laughs> I'm making sure that uh, I get my arms strong because I'm trying to be one of them fighters like Tyson. You buy your tickets, you come in the stadium, hear the little music in the background, hear they come out music, ding, 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 fight over. <laughs> After five, six seconds, ding, 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 fight over. That's what type of fighter I'm trying to be. So, shoot, just go enjoy this. Uh, go ahead and enjoy this workout right here. Um, getting it in. I'm just pumping straight iron. Um, I know it's not super duper heavy weight, but I'm getting it done. I didn't come here with any pill, with any plan for real. So I just get up and train it. Okay, I got one more set. But what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm probably just gonna do the Friday, the Saturday classes. It's today, Friday, so. For sure, I'm coming for the Saturday class. I'm gonna get in here, do a pump, get some good, get some good mag work in. On a minimum of two bags, which for sure is gonna be a wrecking ball. And let's do the heavy bag. And I looked at a workout that Tony Jeffries does. I gotta search that. He gets a 45 pound weight. Alright, alright, so I'm over here doing my shadow boxing, weighted shadow boxing to be exact. Um, if you don't know why I'm doing weighted shadow boxing, it's specifically so that I can be faster and stronger overall. Um, but the weights from me hitting, uh, it's eight pound weights on each hand. The reason why I'm doing that is because the weights on my hand are going to get me used to like hitting with that extra weight. So when I hit without that extra weight, it's a lot more powerful and it's a lot more faster. So I need to do this damn near every day. I really might buy some little weights for the house so that I could do this specifically because this exercise right here is crazy and it will make you faster, it will make you stronger, and it will make you just an overall better fighter.
the savage with this record, so. Why you nigga capping so hard? Why you got a 12 car garage? Well, you know these niggas come. Cause these niggas pussy, yo. So they put on soft and chest on the floor. Put up in the streets and run them. Ready to tell them how I'm here with the floor. So we might as well get it wrong. Oh, I'm wondering if I'm just going voice over every single one of these videos. Because <laughs> if I voice over everything, well, that means everything I'm saying right now is going to be muted. It's going to be straight up voice over. Or I'll have the, the voice, the volume on like 10%. And you'll be able to kind of sort of hear. But fucking barely. So, yeah. 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 You said what? I think I'm so sorry. I don't want him. 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 Because for some fucking reason, I fall somewhere like that. That's not like Snapchat or something. Yeah, and then it does work like that. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 
that drinking mask is entirely because that shit, that shit not feel heavy at all. I don't know what the hell is going on. That shit feel heavy. I need to stop here. I guess I done messed up my whole muscle machine. I feel way more fatigued. I should have. I barely won it. <laughs> <sighs> You could feel a distinct difference in the way that you train when you have good habits the day before and when you have bad habits. That's bad. Yeah. I drank three hurricanes. I drank one before I came in. But you don't know about hurricanes. It's 8%, 25 fluid ounces of uh, of uh, alcohol. Oh, yeah. For a lot of people, gotta get them damn near drunk. It's not all the way drunk. So me and this, so I was like the taste. That tad me buzz, tad me buzz. But then after practice, I picked up two more. So I got about seventy-five fluid ounces. Eight point one percent alcohol. I am Like all the way. Super tweaking. And I can feel it because I feel hell of it. But so there's a whole machine left that I want to like to this corner where I'm sure what I'm thinking is you and it'll fit underneath it. It'll fit in the front. It's not going to be real thick. 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 I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm going to be real thick. Yeah, I can do that. I was going to say, if you want to be that thick, mine's a bad thing. Man, shit, boy. Man, shit, boy. said that I have no storage, nigga, no memory. Come on, buddy. Shadow boxing. Now, I'm about to go bang out the wrecking ball. Probably, probably for like nine minutes or three sets, so three rounds, I should say. So do two more of these, and I'm gonna get up on the wrecking ball, which would be with with rest time, probably about 14, 13, 14 minutes. Once I go home, I'm I think I'm gonna do voiceovers of this whole shit so that there's no weird ass pauses. Cause I got a whole lot of pauses in this video. There's gonna be a whole bunch of jump cuts with a lot of pauses in speech. Or I'm gonna put it all together, edit it up, and if I like the video without having to do the voiceover, then I'll probably just keep it like this. I just said some funny stuff.
six sets of five. But I could definitely feel the difference. My arms are wobbling like a bug. Uh, more time with them here in the game. Jiu-Jitsu guys are here today. All right, so I'm about to go hit this. Uh, after a couple more reps, I'm about to go hit this wrecking ball. The wrecking ball is real good for when it comes to just overall movement and, and fighting. Um, if you want to pressure it super hard. That's only if you want to, though. If you want to. There's so many fucking ways to deal with the wrecking ball. Really, you, you could deal with slipping. You could deal with uh, normal movement, with, with just jab steps. You could deal with walking around that motherfucker. You could deal with rolling. Uh, you could deal with a, you could do a whole bunch of shit when it comes to that ball. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just bang that motherfucker out and work on my combo. All right, all right, all right. So now we're at the wrecking ball. What I'm focusing on right now is really just getting my form down. Um, I'm seeing that my form isn't the best. It's not exactly where it's supposed to be. Um, and, and is that too much of a problem? No, it's not. I've only been boxing for about a month and three days. Is it a month and three days? From the 18th, it's the 21st. Yeah, I've only been boxing for a month and three days. I already got some good hands on me. I'm already trying to figure out specific little combos that I want to do. I got a nice little jab on me, a nice little one too. Um, what I want to do is I have this nice little combo that I'm practicing. It's not in this 
this specific clip, well, it's it's all going to be in this video, but it's more towards the end of me using the wrecking ball. It's a one, two, three, two, three. So I'm banging out that first jab to the face, second jab to the face, uh, number three, which is that hook to the body, then another straight to the face, and then another hook to the face. So what I'm really trying to do is, is since most of the moves are going to go towards that nigga face, I want him to cover his face up so I can hit him with a deadly, a deadly hook to the body. So the point of this combo, when you see it, is going to be specifically for that body shot to be detrimental to somebody's well-being, detrimental to somebody's health, detrimental to somebody's life. I don't want you to breathe. I don't want you to say nothing. I want you to pass out and die when I hit you with that body shot. That's what I want to happen. So. What I have to do is I have to make it a very, very strong and tight, quick combo so that it can't be parried and or timed to the point where somebody is able to work me out. Because it's a five hit combo. And if you know anything about boxing, when you're doing a five hit combo, it leaves you open in the middle of the combo. So what I want to be able to do is one, make it shocking enough for somebody to have to react without actually hitting back, which means I got to hit hard so that they do a little bit of a curl. So I'm going to splash they ass with that one-two as hard as I can. And, and, and let me mind you, this is going to be a finishing move. So this round... This isn't going to be something that I'm just using all the fucking time. I'm going to fill people out, hit them with that body shot, left and right, all type of shit. I'm going I'm to I'm play around with them. But when I'm trying to end the fight or when I'm trying to really see what I could do to you is when I'm going to hit you with that one, two, three, two, three. So it's going to be a jab, straight. Body hook, straight, head hook. And I'm trying to take your fucking dome piece off with that hook. I'm trying to take that body out and I'm trying to take that dome out.
second round. So, you see my combo a couple of times. That one, two, three, two, one. I'm trying to get that going. Um, I'm slow hitting right now because I'm just I'm just trying to get my. Uh, I feel like I'm being a little bit sloppy with my hits, y'all. Uh, the, the people who fight are gonna know what I'm saying, and they're gonna be like, "Yeah, that shit do look a little bit sloppy," sloppy. but. The people who are just watching this and don't really like be fighting like that, uh, they probably wouldn't even see it. It probably just looks like normal punches. But I'm throwing these punches quite frankly kind of ass. Yeah, yeah. I, I got a long way to go. I understand why they don't just put you in fights. Like if I, if I honestly, if I got my first fight right now, I don't honestly think. Well, I don't know. I might be able to win. I don't know. Because I'm a smart fighter. So even though I don't have the technique all the way down, I'm still a smart fighter. And it's not just going to be super easy to knock me out. So I'm basically right now, what you see right now is my combo that I was talking about earlier in the video. And I've thrown it a couple times. But I'm trying to perfect that combo. It's a one, two, three, two, three. And one of the three is the body shot. One of the three is the head shot. Ugh. Now, if I execute that right, that is going to be very dangerous. It's going to be very dangerous. You're not going to want to fuck with that at all. And it's not going to be fun to get hit with. <laughs> 